So welcome once again uh, to the question paper analysis of UGC NET English, December 2021, Shift 1, presented by Professor Academy, Chennai. Today we are going to discuss questions from 71 to 75. Let's go to question number 71. So match list one, sorry, list one with list two. List one, novels, list two, author. So under list one, we have A, Don Quixote, against which we have one, Mashido the Asses. Then B, Sorrows of Young Werther, against which we have two, Honor, Honore the Balzac. Then C, Lost Illusions, against which we have three, Goethe, G-O-E-T-H-E. -E. Then D, Epitaph of a Small Winner, against which we have four, Miguel the Cervantes. So one side we have list one, novels. List two, we have authors. So we have these options. So before we go to the options, sometimes it's easy. If you know <clears throat> at least one solid work, you can eliminate options. So in this case, now when we read about novels, we know Don Quixote or Don Quixote, how it is uh, pronounced in French. If you know the answer to this one, Don Quixote, is written by the Spanish novelist, Miguel de Cervantes. The answer is a straight one. A, four, Don Quixote, Miguel de Cervantes. This novel you should know because this is considered the first modern novel in the world. Then if you know this, there's only one option which starts with A, four. That is option D, right? So that is the answer. Option D, A, four. Don Quixote written by Miguel de Cervantes, B, Sorrows of Young Reader by Goethe, then C, Lost Illusions by Honore de Balzac, D, Epitaph of a Small Winner by Mashido de Aziz. Let's look at each one of them. We have Don Quixote published in 1605, second volume, 1615 by uh, the Spanish writer, Miguel de Cervantes. It is considered the first modern novel in the world. And in this novel, we have a pair of characters, well-known characters. We have Don Quixote, the knight, an old man who reads a lot and who wants to go on an adventure. And he goes on an adventure on an emaciated horse, a thin horse. Then along with him, we have Sancho Ponzo, his neighbor, a farmer, the square. He acts as his square and he travels on a sturdy donkey. Even the donkey has a name Dapple and horse Rosinante. And the adventures of these two people you know, caught the imaginations of uh, millions of people. So this is the work which is considered the first modern novel, which is considered a realistic portrayal of you know, the world. And with this, let's go to the next one. Next one, we have the German writer, Goethe, G-O-E-T-H-E. It is pronounced Goethe in English, Goethe. And his work, autobiographical work, The Sorrows of Young uh, Werther, W-E-R-T-H-E-R. -E it was published in 1774. It's an epistolary novel, novel written in the form of letters. And this is the, uh, these are the opening lines of this work. How happy I am that I'm gone. My dear friend, what a thing is the heart of man. Then the next work is by the French writer, a classic writer. We have Honoré de Balzac. Balzac is known for this collection of works called the human comedy, uh, based on Dante's divine comedy. The title is based on Dante's divine comedy. And there are a lot of works, around 100 works in this collection. So we have few works here. Uh, number one, 1831, we have this novel, The Wild Ass's Skin. So in this story, you have a guy who buys uh, a skin, an ass's skin. And the speciality of this skin is that it grants you wishes. But there is also the underside. You know, it grants you a wish and once your desire is fulfilled, and you also uh, you know, feel its negative side that your health declines. 
so here is a person who wishes again and again and again and finally dies and there is also a love story in this one then we have this uh, work lopia gorio or old gorio this is his another famous work it's about that old person gorio g o r i o and his uh, characteristics then we have lost illusions this is the work mentioned in the question next uh, when it comes to brazilian literature um, machado de assis m a c h a d o d e then assis a s s i s this rice writer is considered uh, a classic one and this is his uh, famous work published in 1881 epitaph of a small winner this is considered his magnum opus then he is also known for his uh, 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 other novels like uh, philosopher or dog published in 1891 so let's go to question number 72 again match the following list one we have characters list two novels so this time we have five so top one capital a we have the character winston smith against which we have the novel one sons and lovers b paul moral against which number 2 ulysses c whisky priest against which we have 3 1984 then d leopold bloom we have number 4 decline and fall then e paul fenny uh, penny feather against which we have 5 the power and the glory so some of the characters are well known characters in literature especially novels here at least you are able to identify one or two then we can eliminate options let's see we have a character paul moral b which is a famous character created by d h lawrence in his uh, work sons and lovers if you can identify b paul moral with one sons and lovers we can eliminate two options because option b we have b1 then option d b1 so we can eliminate option a and c right so we eliminated two then if you know winston smith is a famous character in george orwell's novel 1984 then a 3 then you can eliminate the other option you can find out the answer so answer is b in the sense a 3 winston smith 1984 b paul moral sons and lovers c whisky priest comes in the power and the glory d leopold bloom comes in ulysses then e paul fenny feather uh, comes in decline and fall let's look at the writers so winston smith is the protagonist of george orwell's 1984 so this is a dystopian society uh, in which you do not have an individual identity so there is a big brother watching it's a kind of a surveillance each and every move of an individual is survived by this you know sorry uh, under surveillance are watched by the big brother or a kind of an authority figure but winston smith goes against it so what happens to him and another major character in this novel then we have d h lawrence sons and lovers this novel is often uh, read as a manifestation of uh, freud's concept of oedipus complex so you have paul moral who is very much uh, attached to his mother and towards the end of the novel uh, the mother dies and paul moral has to start a new life he moves on then we have uh, the english writer graham greens the power and the glory which is set in mexico and the war in mexico where we have this uh, catholic priest simply named whisky priest and how he tries to survive or how finally is executed is the story then you have uh, the irish novelist james joyce ulysses published in 1992 which marked the beginning of modernist movement and in this we have two characters leopold bloom and stephen dedalus walking the streets of dublin and the last chapter is from the point of view of leopold bloom's wife molly bloom then we have decline and fall is a novel by evelyn walk and the character paul pennyfeather comes in this work let's go to question number 73 which of the following novels has its epigraph taken from 
the Katha Upanishad. Option A, a room with a view by E.M. Foster. B, point counterpoint by Aldous Huxley. C, the island of Dr. Moreau by H.G. Wells. D, the razor's edge by Somerset Maugham. At least if you know uh, the Katha Upanishad has something to do with the philosophy, then if you can eliminate novels which are not based on philosophy, you can narrow down, no, narrow down the options. The Island of Dr. Marut by H.G. Wells are more uh, science fiction. Then A Room with a View, it talks about Europe. Then two writers uh, you know, who worked on philosophy are, you know, their works are based on philosophy. We have Aldous Huxley, point, counterpoint, then Somerset Mom, the resource edge. Let's see the answer. We have D, the razor's edge by Somerset Mom, which is based on, or its epigraph is taken from the Katha Upanishad. And this is the epigraph. So epigraph, you know, sometimes they begin a work with a quote from a, another work, from another work. So here the razor's edge uh, starts, uh, begins with this uh, passage from Katha Upanishad. The sharp edge of a razor is difficult to pass over. Thus, the wise say the path of salvation is hard. So this is taken from Katha Upanishad and the title also is taken from there, the razor's edge. So what we have to do next, so whenever you read a novel, make sure uh, the you read about its publication year and the age in which it was uh, published. Then if there are a subtitle for the novel, then you have to know about the subtitle or the major characters, ending, beginning, then also some important uh, scenes or episodes in that work or also epigram, okay? Next, uh, let's go to question number 74. Which of these constitute the preoccupations of the protagonist of the Indian writer Upamanya Chatterjee's novel, English August? We have four uh, options, I mean, descriptions, list. Capital A, Maruana, a kind of a ganja. M-A-R-I-J-U-A-N-A, Maruana. Then B, magic. C, monotheism. D, Marcus Aurelius philosopher, emperor. So now let's go to the options. Option A, A and D only, in the sense Marwana and Marcus Aurelius only. B, A and B only. C, B and C only. D, B and D only. So at least if you know, this is a tough question, unless um, we have read this work, it is tough to answer this uh, question. So one thing we can learn from this question that we have to concentrate more on Indian literature. So in 2000, uh, 2021, December, shift one, we got a lot of questions from Indian literature. And the answer is A, A and D only. So the protagonist of Upamanya Chatterjee, Chatterjee's novel, English August, is obsessed with uh, or preoccupied with Maruana and uh, Marcus Aurelius and his work. So if you look at this work, uh, who is a protagonist? You have uh, Agatsya Sin, A-G-A-T-S-Y-A. -A -A. So he is the protagonist of this novel, 19, uh, published in 1988. He is more you know, obsessed with uh, masturbation, marijuana, and the philosophy. Uh, the book, Meditations by this emperor, Roman emperor and philosopher, uh, Marcus Aurelius, A-U-R-E-L-I-U-S. Then with this, let's go to uh, question number 75, the last question of today's class. Which of these best describes Shyam Selvadurai's novel, Funny Boy? Option A, coming of age novel. B, novel of manners. C, picaresque novel. D, sentimental novel. There is a clue um, in the title. Whenever it's about a boy or someone, is going on an adventure. Now you can guess from the title, this is going to be about you know, you know, the growth of this boy or the main major character. Then we can eliminate two options, you know, sentimental novel and novel of manners. It can be either coming of age novel, a boy coming to terms with his growth and idea and life or picaresque novel. 
you know, kind of a picaresque, um, it kind uh, comes from the word picado, Italian means a rogue, like of Robinson Crusoe's story. Uh, kind of a rogue who goes out of, uh, steps out of the house, goes on an adventure. So answer A, coming of age novel. So this novel uh, was written by the Sri Lankan Canadian writer, Shyam Selvadurai. And in th this novel is set in England, uh, sorry, set in uh, Sri Lanka and talks about uh, R.G. Uh, Selvaratnam, A-R-J-I-E, R.G. Selvaratnam's uh, growth, the boy's growth. It was published in 1994. And it talks about gay relationship and uh, homosexual relationship or simply put, how R.G. comes to terms with his sexual orientation or the discrimination he faces there. And towards the end of the novel, um, of course, he moves from Sri Lanka to Canada. So this is the line. Today, I received my passport. As I looked at it, I finally realized that we were really leaving Sri Lanka, that in two days, we will be in a strange country. So that's Canada. So Shyam Selvadurai, uh, Sri Lankan Canadian writer. So the lesson we get from the analysis of these five questions today is that we have to focus more on world literature, on the Indian literature, and also novel. If we, whenever we read a novel, it's publication year or epigraph or subtitle, and opening and ending and major characters. So with this, let's.